this AI video editing tool is blowing my mind. And I'm surprised that more people aren't talking about it. I don't say this often, but wow. Wow. I'm Raphael and welcome to the channel where our goal is to always fix it in camera and then finesse it in post. And oh boy, do I have a treat for you today. This AI tool is called Gling and it is the closest thing currently you'll be able to find to a virtual editing assistant. I discovered this AI tool three days ago and I am obsessed with it, especially for the kind of work that I do. Editing, lots of editing. This tool, not only does it cut out the silences, but it also cuts out bad takes. Let me say that again. This tool cuts out bad takes. It understands when a take is bad and only keeps the good ones. So it transcribes the entire video and it understands which takes are good. And on top of that, it allows for a simplified multicam workflow. And this is by far the fastest I've been able to get rough cut edits done with just a few clicks. So if you're into content creation or long format videos where there's a lot of talking heads, this is going to be an amazing tool. Because I know once word gets out about this app, there will be no going back. So let's dive in. Let me show you how this app works. It is awesome. It is truly blowing my mind. It's a desktop app that's available for Mac OS and for Windows. So once you have your footage, drag it, drop it, it'll start processing it and you can cut out bad takes. And the other thing you can do is you can add in multiple video files and it'll process it all as one. So if you have a series of clips that you want to do, it will do it all together. So make sure you name your session and choose your language. So you press continue, you let it run, it prepares the file, it reads the audio, and it actually listens to what you're saying. It doesn't just listen for silences where the DP drops, it is actually transcribing everything that you're saying. Not only will it cut out the ums and the ahs and the silences, but it will cut out bad takes and repetitive sentences and keep the best ones. And it's not 100% perfect. It does leave in some bad takes, but you're able to use the text editor to find those bad takes. And it's very straightforward and very intuitive to use. So if you have a lot of stops and starts or repeat takes, it will cut those out and only keep the good takes. So once it's done processing and transcribing, you can go through and look at all the things that it's cut out. And this is, this is a little bit embarrassing, but this is one of my videos. And these are all the false starts that I do. And then it, it literally goes and knows which take is good. So it goes from, there are seven hidden gems in Final Cut Pro, all this false starts to the next usable line. So it's not just cutting out the silences, it's cutting out bad takes. And if there is a take that you want back, you can just bring it back, uncut that. And you can just skim through it and kind of read it over. But if you find somewhere where it didn't catch a repeat or a bad take, you can actually go in and make a selection and then cut out those words. So it'll give you a new cut. So it's almost like doing a paper edit. It's still a rough cut in the order. It definitely helps when it's in order. Or if you want to add something back, you can just uncut. And that feature is fantastic where you can actually cut it or bring back some of these edits. So you just skim through, you can find what you want. And it has a player down here so you can actually watch it back. So right within the app, you can check all those edits and see if it's working for you or add back any of the clips that it deleted before. And all of this is non-destructive. So it's gonna spit out an XML for you, but it does all the work that an assistant editor would be taking care of, only finding the good takes and putting them into a timeline. This does it for you in no time at all. And if at any point you wanna add more files to this, it'll just add it on to the end of it. And you don't have to reprocess the first one and it'll just process all the new ones. And once you've gone through the text editor to find what you want, you go to export and you can export to Final Cut, Resolve, Adobe Premiere. You can export your subtitles or make a full video right from the app. So you hit Final Cut Export, you save it. Uh, I'm gonna talk about Final Cut Pro Multicam in a little bit, but that's another awesome feature. So I'm gonna do this example in Final Cut, but this works exactly the same way in Premiere and in DaVinci Resolve. But right now we're just gonna import the XML. Find your XML, you do import, and this is all non-destructive. So it's bringing in the original file. It's not converting. It's just giving you the edit information and you open your file and then you have all your edits. In this sense, it works very similar to other apps. 
but it allows you to do a visual edit with the transcription. So if you were done at that point, you can go and, and just export your subtitles and bring in your captions that way. But say you're working on a multicam shoot or you're doing tutorials where you're doing screen capture and a camera and you wanna sync those two. It becomes a little bit harder because this is already edited so it's not timed to anything. And Gling solves that. So this video is already a multicam video. This is a tutorial for a video that I did a while back. So I'm gonna export a Final Cut Multicam XML. Press save. It exports, you're gonna import the XML, it imports it. And on the surface, it looks exactly the same. All the same edits are in the same place. But this is a multicam clip. Click into it, and now I have a multicam clip of the original clip. Drag in your angle into that. And the only thing that you need to do is you need to manually sync it up. That's relatively easy. And once you have that, you have your two angles. You can go back to your timeline, and at any point you can just start switching the camera angles. Just press one or two, depending on your angles, and you're in a multicam workflow again, just like that. And this is also very handy if you wanna add in any color correction or audio right to the multicam, because you're able to do it to the base layer. So if you have multiple files, you select them, drag them in, you can choose your language. I know that English is supported fully, but the other languages are there, so definitely check it out. And you can add more files here. Make sure you name your session, you press continue. These two files are all part of one video, so it'll process the videos and then it'll transcribe everything. And at any point you can go back to any of the sessions that you've had and export another XML. So if you do a lot of this kind of work or if you have a YouTube channel and you find yourself editing out all your bad takes, this tool is gonna to save you so much time, I know it. I've only been using it for about three days and it's already saved me a ton of time and has sped up my ability to put out more videos quickly. Gling is one of those apps that seems to be designed knowing what content creators are going through, having to do multiple takes and getting the edit out as quickly as possible, removing bad takes, removing silences, and having a very streamlined workflow from recording to finishing your edit and getting it out as quickly as possible. This is the closest you can get right now to a virtual editing assistant that will do the base edit for you as quickly as possible. And I know all you editors are watching this are going to love using this. The goal has always been to try to record, edit, and post in the shortest amount of time possible. And this app is finally able to do it. I knew that AI would solve this problem. I just didn't expect it this fast. The first video is free and then they charge you for every video after that. And they are working on a multicam feature for DaVinci Resolve that is coming, but there isn't a cheaper assistant editor you'll be able to find today. I love supporting creators that build tools that are actually very useful. So well done on creating this app. The AI revolution is just starting for video. So make sure you check out this video where I talk about five other tools that I use on a daily basis in my editing workflow. Also, I live stream on my second channel where I deep dive on the creative process as well as freelance financials. So make sure you check that out. As always, thanks for watching.